I just feel like um, if only more people knew exactly what Corbyn really stood for and what he believed in, and they would vote for him. There's so many people I know that are voting for um, for Boris or the Tories because they they've been sold all this stuff by the media. Now, for me, it's a massive smear campaign because it's the finally they've got a politician. I'm 31 years old. It's the first time in my life. I've known a um, uh, party leader that actually has stuck with what he's said over the entirety of his time as an MP and has meant what he said and is sincere and he's honest and he wants good for people and that's like a rarity in my view uh, for politicians yeah. and um, people don't understand that, they don't get that because they just listen to what they've been told by the the, main, main yeah, the mainstream media, media essentially. Yeah. Uh, he is, uh, he's a genuine authentic, he's never changed his views in this whole time as a no, politician. No, no, and, and, and that's what makes him different from most politicians in my opinion because he doesn't care about saying what he's meant to say or what he thinks people want him to say. He says what he feels and what he means and what's in his heart, yeah, yeah. which is what appeals yeah. to me, which is why I'm voting Labour and which is why I've joined Labour because of Jeremy, really, because of Jeremy Corbyn. And that's what's sad that people don't get that, yeah. do you know what I mean? And that they think the opposite, oh he's this and he's that because they've been told that and they don't actually look into the facts of it. It's really sad. And I think for me, Boris Johnson's the polar opposite, don't you? Yeah. Definitely. Complete polar opposite. You'll definitely. never be trusted. I'll trust trusted <laughs> if anything. Really bad he, track record. He won't let anyone scrutinise any of his policies, which he yeah. hasn't really got any policies. Won't answer any questions. And he doesn't want what's good for the people, especially the working class people, the real yeah. people yeah. that <laughs> we all know that are ironically voting for him, which is crazy. But um, what can you what can you do? We've just got to try our best to put his name out yeah, there. And try and educate people. Yeah, yeah. And ho hopefully he will get in. I think it will be amazing if you like, for the country and for the world, essentially. That's the big thing as well. Yeah. It's not all this me, 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 like America and like Boris. It's to do with what's best for the world and other countries, not just the UK, which is another reason for me. Even if he doesn't get in, if we can get a hung parliament with a uh, Labour MP sitting in the House of Commons, that helps hold oh, whoever yeah, yeah, does yeah. get into account. Yeah, yeah. Massive, or whoever the leader is to account. Yeah. And also there's a complete massive anti- uh, <laughs> you know, there's a massive anti Boris thing which I believe in as well. I think it's crazy, but it's not, I don't know, complete polar opposites to me. And I think it's madness that he's even in a position to be voted as Prime Minister. Never mind already in the Prime Minister. What can you do? What Just can be rich and go to a private yeah. school? All you can do is educate people yeah, and yeah. hope people change their minds and, and kind of wake up to and see the, to truth. the reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah.